cartoons, cartoons, yeah. Oh yeah, 705 here on Class 85 on a Thursday evening. And as promised, we've got Stephen Chia with us from Channel News Asia, our colleague here at Media Corp. He just returned from a trip to Germany. He was there to film an episode for a, a Talking Point. In fact, uh, that episode airs tonight, 9.30 p.m. on Channel 5. Very happy to welcome Stephen. Hey, Steve, welcome to Class 85. Hi, Gene. Great to be on. Hey, oh, by the way, we're also on Facebook Live, so you can join us over there as well. And if you've got a question for Steve, you can always put it in our comment section, facebook.com slash Class 85 FM. So um, you had the privilege of taking this, this trip to, <laughs> to Germany. Um, what was it, first of all, I want to know, what was it like stepping onto a plane again after so long? You know, yeah, everyone's been messaging me and saying, oh, wow, you get to travel, you know. So I, I got to admit, the moment I arrived at the airport, I walked through, the, I checked in through immigration, I was out the terminal, I was like, ah, oh, this is quite surreal, man. You know, so <laughs> it, it was pretty, it was pretty shook, as you would call it, to just be there and then to get on the plane, that was another feeling, you know, so... I was, uh, you know, while I knew there was a lot of work ahead, I was actually really excited to be going on this trip because so many of us have not traveled for so long, right? So I think <laughs> yeah. just that alone was worth it. <laughs> exactly. I think for most of us, it, well, I think, yeah, it was 2019. The last time uh, I got on a plane was 2019. Uh, you went specifically, was it to Munich in Germany? Yeah, so I went to Munich, only to Munich, uh, the, to check out the vaccinated travel lane. And basically, this is a relationship between Germany and Singapore, to where when you arrive from Germany to Singapore, you don't have to surf a quarantine, which means you can land, you have to do some PCR tests, but once you do that, you are cleared to kind of roam the city. So just to, to help you understand, the, the VTL doesn't work from Singapore to Germany because actually Germany right now has said, hey, we welcome you guys from Singapore with open arms. Just come as long as you're vaccinated. Uh, so the VTL is pretty much from Germany to Singapore where there are specific flights you have to get on in order to not serve a quarantine when you land. I see. Okay. And, and tell us about what it was like where you were at. I mean, uh, I mean, were there, was everyone wearing masks? I mean, did it feel like life was normal? I mean, what, what was it like? So I was posting a lot of these stories on Instagram and we walked down the streets and people were not wearing masks. And that was the first thing that hit us. We were like, whoa, really? I mean, is this safe? What's going on here, you know? And, and as I spoke to the experts, essentially a few weeks back in early September, they had made a ruling that masks outdoors were not required as they felt it was safe enough, you know, the virus would not spread easily in that environment. So, yeah, so when you're walking the streets, people are out there in outdoor cafes. No one has a mask on. But again, you know, um, this is something people have asked me, can we do it in Singapore? And I, I think and hope we will eventually, but it's not apples for apples because obviously in Munich, in Germany, there's a lot more space. So we're not as con they're not as congested. So when you're outdoors, you generally still have space to, to you know, not be as close to the person next to you. So I think that is a slight difference. Uh, right. But otherwise, yeah, it really felt like, like some streets when I was walking on, I was like, wait a minute, are we still in a pandemic? You know, <laughs> you forget. <laughs> I mean, the luxury, I mean, like we're bombarded with information about COVID-19 here so much. I, I was just thinking to myself, like, there's not one second I'm not thinking about it. I mean, it's always in the back of my mind. So for you, I mean, being there, it must have felt like, wait a second. I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm a little bit forgetting about the fact that we're, <laughs> we're in COVID times. <laughs> you know, there were, there were times when I was like, hey, this is like being on holiday. This is like, you know, <laughs> when I was outdoors. So yeah, it is easy to forget. Uh, but I am reminded because, uh, again, when you're out and about moving and visiting some of the tourist attractions, they do have uh, measures in place to ensure that you are safe. For example, there are still limits on the numbers that go into a museum or into a, you know exhibition, things like that. And, and you do have to mark, wear your mask when you're indoors. And most importantly, they have something called the 3G rule. Okay, now, it's that? a G because three Gs, which are three German words, which I can no longer remember or pronounce, <laughs> but <laughs> essentially it, it stands for being vaccinated, being tested or recovered. So if you're vaccinated, you're cool. If you have recovered recently from COVID in the last six months, you're considered safe as well. And if you're tested, as in doing the ART, the rapid test, then you are considered okay as well. So those are generally the three requirements they need if you really want to move about the city and 
go into, you know, into buildings, into restaurants, and to eat together. I mean, it, we, we cover a lot of those details on the show to show people what it's like with all the, the contact tracing and the check-in and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah. once you're done with that, I mean, really, when you're there having a good time, it's easy to forget that, that we're still in a pandemic. Wow. Um, if you just tuned in, we're chatting with Stephen Chia, who uh, has just returned from a trip to Germany, and he's telling us all about a vaccinated travel lane. Um, what are some of the things that you got up to? I mean, I'm thinking about Oktoberfest. Did it? Is it happening <laughs> in Germany? Yeah, that, that's beer, sausages, Oktoberfest. That's what Germany is all about, right? So, <laughs> so I, I, have admit, I have to admit I had my fair share of beer and sausages. Wow. Oktoberfest, unfortunately, is cancelled. So, so... Right. The thing is, I, I never, I've never been to Munich before, and they have beer gardens aplenty. There are beer gardens everywhere. They even have one beer garden, which can take up to 8,000 people. Now, that's crazy big. Wow. Uh, <laughs> and Oktoberfest, if they had it, and we went to visit the fairgrounds, the size of it is like, I don't know, is like 30 football fields or something like that, you know, put oh, together. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So you can imagine it being a huge thing, but they had to cancel it because of the, of the pandemic, you know. So what's happened is uh, each individual uh, restaurant or F&B outlet will have their own mini celebrations. Uh, but I guess they say it's not going to be the same without all the crazy singing and dancing and things like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, eating, drinking, that's what you do. And of course, there's a lot of outdoor space, so we didn't get a chance to, but I know many people have gone hiking. And if you think about it, coming from Singapore, I mean even though the restrictions say you have to stay within Germany, but Germany is huge by comparison. So you can still right. drive out to the suburbs to go hiking and things like that. And you still be okay. You still be covered under the, the requirements that uh, are, are stipulated in the vaccinated travel lane. Right. This is really interesting. Okay, we're going to chat more with, with Stephen Chia. Uh, by the way, we are on Facebook, so you can continue to join us there, facebook.com slash class85fm. And when we come back also, we're going to be talking about whether or not it is worth vacationing during this pandemic. Okay, stay right here. We've got Little Mix now with Sweet Melody here on Class 85. Yeah. Wow. So exciting. Okay, so you also said you went on a... Uh, to watch an ice hockey game was it was it ice hockey? yeah so when I, so so we tried to so we're working on two stories actually there's another story about uh sort of living with the virus you know in an endemic state and i think there's something singapore yeah. is moving towards as well so yeah. we went to visit some of the activities they're doing there was a hockey game which had a few thousand people inside everyone's wearing masks but at the same time you know it, it seemed a bit again because it's been so long to to go to an event with that many people and to see them all cheering and screaming, you know, it yeah, was at first I was like, oh, I'm a little bit scared, right? You know, uh, but, it, but it was actually all right. I mean, and, and we went to another bigger event. We went to the international motor show that is actually taking place right at that time, oh, which is a huge okay. international event for all the like latest car models and things like that. Um, and it was interesting. What we explore is how they managed to organize that event in the pandemic. Uh, and they've basically done it in a different way where they don't have just one big venue. They have smaller satellite venues all across oh. the city as well. Okay. Yeah, but how do you manage to have, you know, thousands and thousands of people coming through your yeah. doors without worrying about everyone getting hit and getting, uh, you know, getting clusters that turn positive and things like that? Yeah. yeah. When you when you come back, when you came back, so do you also obviously, do you do a test there and a test here before on your way back? Okay, so, so I think there are a lot of, uh, some details on it, but essentially you have to do four PCR tests. So I have to do one before I get on the plane to fly back to Singapore. I have to get okay. one more when I arrive in Changi Airport. There is no choice. The moment you get your bags, you get out. There's only one route which brings you to a tent to get swabbed, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and then on day, on day three, I have to do one more test. And on day seven, I have to do one more test. Um, okay. But the only uh, isolation period is after your first test from Changi Airport. So I take it from Changi. I'm expected to go straight to my home or my hotel, and I gotta wait there until I get my result, which can be uh. between six to twelve hours. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I think there's a question here from a Richard Koo. Let me mm. see. I'd like to ask: uh, Returning back to Singapore, do we need to stay? Stay on notice. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a yeah. bit confusing. You don't have to stay 21 days in Germany. I mean, I was just there for like five, six days. Mm -hmm. But essentially, as, as long as your point of departure was either Singapore or Germany, and you were in either of those countries 21 days prior to getting on the flight. So, you know, I've been in Singapore now for, well, two years since I've traveled anywhere. So I got on the flight, went there for five days, came back. It's okay. Hope that answers your question. Um, and then, let me see, I was going to ask you something else. Yeah, whether or not, like, you thought, um, apart from Germany, uh, something that we'll answer on, on air later, whether there would be other countries you think that could also have uh, BTO. Mm. We are hoping <laughs> there are a few. So, so I, I think this is my own uh, uh, part speculation, but it is based on the vaccination rates in the countries as well. So yeah. those countries that have higher vaccination rates is where uh, I believe Singapore will be more likely to have a, a you know sort of a travel agreement with them, a travel lane. So we've what been is the vaccination about, rate uh, at, in Germany? Um, actually, I, I can't recall now. I think it's in the like late 60s to 70 around there. Yeah. Okay. okay. And also, I mean, they look at many criteria, so it's very hard to say. But this mm -hmm. is, I guess one of the first that Singapore is trying out to see. You know, the, the whole uh, travel bubble with Hong Kong and that yeah. we were supposed to go on that too, but that, that kept bursting, you know? So so, um, so this one's a bit different. Yeah. Uh, we, we were afraid. Well, Dombo, we were like, I wonder if this is going to happen because the cases were getting higher in Munich at that time. Oh. Uh, and we were like, oh, no, you know. Uh, exactly, but, yeah. right? Yeah. So, it's, it's cool. Um, I think I'm just going to do a quick traffic update and then we're going to come back on air, okay? okay? And, do. and if Yeah, and if you're watching us right now on Facebook and you've got a question uh, for Steve, you know, while he's here, you might as well put it in the comment section and we will get to it, okay? All right. Let's see now. Okay, I'm just going to put you on standby for a sec. Sure. And Novena MRT stations. 35 Gilstead is close to everything, including shopping malls and good schools like ACS Barker, all within reach. Now with selected units from just 1.22 million. Call 6351-6628 to book an appointment today. Terms apply. Class 95 traffic update. All right, accidents on the ECP towards the airport before Still Road South exit. Another accident on the TPE towards SLE before Tampines Avenue 10 exit with congestion till Tampines Avenue 7 exit. Avoid lane 1. Jab safe! This traffic report is brought to you by Harvey Norman. Get additional up to $600 cash rebate on discounted prices. Plus pay just 488 for a queen-size storage bed frame. Only on selected mattresses at Harvey Norman, the Centerpoint Superstore. Cut! News on Class 85 is brought to you by Esso. Esso is giving away over $50,000 worth of exciting prizes like smartwatches, coffee machines and more. Spend $60 on Synergy Fuels to qualify. Search Esso Happy Homes Draw for details. It's about 18 minutes past 7 here on Class 85's Cartoons and we're chatting with Stephen Chia from Channel News Asia. He's just gotten back from a trip uh, to Germany on that vaccinated travel lane and in fact uh, he talks all about it on the episode of Talking Point tonight night at 9 30 p.m on channel five but he's here giving us a little scoop as well hey steve welcome back <laughs> hey good to be back actually i forgot to tell you that i brought I, I brought back something as well you know so you see this this is what they call a <laughs> pretzel. a pretzel a pretzel yeah i know a pretzel is a pretzel but it's made of bread so it's like regular dough you know and oh. supposedly you know, some monks used to made it way way back you know so this is this is something that is very unique to to Germany. I guess you have it with, I had it with beer, and you put it in some dips, and you know it's kind of nice. Yeah, right. I guess, no, it's massive. Yeah. It's huger than normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a bit it's a you know they were a bit needy that way, and I guess. They were, you know. <laughs> did you buy anything else? I mean, like you know, did you go I, a little crazy because like you know you're overseas for the first time in two years, and you're like, okay, let, let's 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 buy a few things. <laughs> I, 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 well, unfortunately, we didn't have time to, to visit any shop, so we were visiting some of the attractions, you know, so I didn't do any kind of shopping, except when we arrived at the airport, they also gave me this. 
<laughs> so, what is that? Is that a, uh, you know, Munich a cookie? stands for, uh, they call it munchen. Yeah, it's kind of a biscuit. I haven't opened it. It's still in the plastic, you know. Uh, oh, my God. It's, <laughs> it's a uh, hot shape cookie, so this, almost. It's like one of those you come and then they put it around the <laughs> neck, you know, and you're like. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. I love that. <laughs> uh, so for That's filming cute. purposes, I took it off. But, you know. Oh. But, uh, so it, it was interesting to explore how they were dealing with uh, the virus. And, and even in the airport, uh, right now what they have, they have um, – test centers all over the city which are free so you can go in get an, an ART test if you want to before going to a restaurant and things like that uh, so what they're trying to do is really I think largely put get people to be a, a bit more responsible for their own you know their own uh, state it, whether and to get themselves checked and, and I think that's kind of something we explore in another episode of Talking Point coming up in October which has to do with right. Really, how we're going to live with this virus, right? What we're going to do? We can't keep quarantining. We can't keep locking up everyone. So, how are we going to carry on living with the virus still among us? You know, and I think that's something yeah. that Germany has started on, and we are looking at them and to see what they have done. Yeah, definitely something to learn. Um, well, the ultimate question is this: I mean, is is uh, this VTL, this vaccinated travel lane, is this worth the money? Is it worth the effort? Uh, after coming back from from Munich in Germany, what are your thoughts, Steve? Ah, well, you know that's what the show tonight is all about. So you have to watch <laughs> it. <I don't laughs> we ask exactly those questions: Is it worth your time, your effort, and your money to go on a holiday during a pandemic? And I'll just say that mm, depending on your own state of mind, some would say yes, some would say no. Given the chance, I wouldn't mind doing it. Yeah, I, I feel now that I've traveled, I mean, I was on the plane and to be honest, I actually felt quite safe, you know? Right. So I, I made extra efforts to be careful with my hygiene, to wear a mask and to, you know, and I think if you take those steps, we can kind of get on with life, go on a holiday and live with the virus. I think don't, don't overthink it. We just got to keep it plain and simple, you know? Yeah, agreed, agreed. Yeah. I'm very excited to watch Talking Point tonight, um, 9.30 p.m. on Channel 5. Uh, make sure you catch it. And Steve, we're, we're happy that you had a good time. We, we lived vicariously through you and your trip to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And uh, thank you all for, for supporting that trip. You know, it was, it was interesting, it was exciting. I'm glad I could bring it down to everyone. It's oh, a bit like, I think many people are even asking me about plane food, you know, so that's how much we miss <laughs> traveling. But I, I got to say, actually, plane food is quite, is quite plain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, people think, yeah, I was, I was a bit of a high flyer for the moment and, and it felt like I was walking down the aisle at times. But yeah. Right. Okay. Sorry, well, you know what? Really bad uh, times. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? There might be like you know other countries open up for the vaccinated travel lane. I mean, I mean personally, do you think? Uh, do you think we that's in the in the works in the pipeline? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure the government's looking at all the countries. Everybody wants to open up. I mean, tourism is such a big thing for so many countries, and we all want to open up. So I think it's just how we manage the situation. Unfortunately, you know, it's not so great in Singapore at the time. But I'm sure if we can overcome this, you know, it, it will get better. And I think we can all look forward to. Uh, a new, I mean, we got used to extra security because of terrorist attacks, right? So I'm sure we can get used to extra tests and extra procedures uh, as a result of this virus. It just depends on how badly you want to travel. And accepting yeah. the fact that, you know, there may be times we will get sick, we will be hit with something, but now that most of us are vaccinated, it probably won't be life-threatening. So that's why I feel kind of, you know, safe and assured that, and, and don't mind traveling. All right. Thank you so much for shedding so much light on this, Steve. Really a real pleasure having you on the show today. Thanks very much for telling us all about the vaccinated travel lane. And we'll watch you tonight. Uh, yes, Talking please. Point. Yeah, 9.30 p.m. on Channel 5 as uh, he tells us more about that. Okay, thank you so much, Steve. Have a great evening. Thanks yeah. so much for having me. You too. See you guys.